So guys, welcome to episode number two of the FIFA 16 Super League career mode with Real Madrid. Thank you all so much for the support on the first episode. Thank you for all your likes. So if you do go on to enjoy today's episode and you are excited for this series, remember that this series does come out daily. Go ahead and click that like button. Make sure to drop a comment down below that I could respond to, players you want me to sign, and let's just have a discussion in the comment section. And make sure you also subscribe if you are new around here. Like I did say, thank you so much for the support on the channel. And let's jump straight into episode number two. Oh my God. Cristiano Ronaldo has just sent me an email. Request to be transferred. I feel that I've come to the end of my time at this club. I have the need to move to a new club and I need to move in this transfer window. Please make it happen. What did I just read? Cristiano Ronaldo wants to leave Real Madrid right now during this transfer window. I've actually got no words to say, guys. Things don't get any better as Valencia won £23 million for Jose Gaia. I'm actually going to bump my transfer offer to £18.5 million, just under £23 million. But let's hope that Valencia could accept that. Valencia really won 23 million pounds for Jose Gaia. I'm gonna go ahead and just give them exactly what they want. 23 million pounds for Jose Gaia, the young left back from Valencia. As we have another email, the situation with Cristiano Ronaldo is far from ideal. However, we trust you will make the correct decision and therefore give you full authority on whether we sell the player or not. So what this email is trying to say from the board, that if I don't want to sell Ronaldo, I don't have to? Well, as you guys can see there, that they give me full authority on whether we sell the player or not. So what they're trying to say is if I don't want to sell Ronaldo, I don't have to. That's something interesting, guys, and it's something that we're going to have to look forward to during this transfer window. Sell to Vigo with the £9 million offer. And definitely a player that I'm really not going to use throughout this career mode series. So we're going to move the transfer offer to £12.5 million. Pounds. We all know Celta Vigo don't have a really large transfer budget. But I'm going to give them a £12.5 million pound counter offer. It is time to start this Super League season with Real Madrid. Our first team that we are coming up against in the Super League is away game to Inter Milan. We all know Inter Milan aren't the strongest side in the Super League, but let's actually take a look at my starting 11 for this game. As you guys can see, this is going to be my starting 11 for the first game of the Super League season. This is the default formation. I'm keeping it at a 4-2-3-1. I'm going to try it out and see how this formation goes with my side. In goals, we've got David De Gea. Left back, we've got Fabio Coentrell. The two centre-backs are Sergio Ramos and Pepe. Danilo as the right back. The two central midfielders are going to be Modric and Kovacic. Kovacic coming up against his former side, Tony Cruz, will be starting in the substitutes for this game. Ronaldo out on the left midfield position. We all know the shock transfer request. Ronaldo wants out of Real Madrid, but will he leave during this transfer window? We're going to have to wait and find out. James Rodriguez as the central attacking midfielder. Bale out on the right midfield. And Sergio Aguero, the new star signing as the striker. Guys, world-class four minutes against Inter Milan at the San Siro, it's time to face into Milan. Here we go. Here we go, guys. The San Siro, Inter Milan versus Real Madrid. The first game of the Super League season. I can't wait to get into these games. The likes of Sergio, Sergio Aguero, Dav De Gea, two star signings in this Real Madrid team. There's possibly going to be a few more signings during this transfer window, so make sure you don't miss the second and the third episodes of this series when we are in the transfer window. Player debut, Miranda will be making his debut for Inter Milan, and we all know Sergio Aguero, star signing, 46 million pounds, will be making his debut for Real Madrid. Look at Aguero, guys. Look how ready he looks. I can't wait to get this season underway. It's the best teams in FIFA, it's the best teams from all around the world, all in one league. Let's take a look at the Inter Milan lineup for this game as they are the home side. 
This is the Inter Milan side for this game. Hadanovic in goals, Montoya, Jesus, Miranda, Asanton, Medel, Hernandez, Palacio, Icardi up front, Freddy Guarin in the midfield. Pretty decent Inter Milan side. Um, in my opinion, you guys know how my Real Madrid side looks. Isco, Hesse, Tony Cruz, Rafael Varane, Caviel, Casilla, all on the substitutes. We have a lot of depth at this Real Madrid side. Let's jump into it, guys. Will this be Ronaldo's last time playing in a Real Madrid kit in this cremate series? We're going to have to wait and find out. Here we go. Here we go. Ball gets played through. James Rodriguez. I can't actually believe James Rodriguez actually got to that one. He outpaced the Inter Milan man. We have had the first two chances in this game. Here go Inter Milan down the wing. It's Montoya, the former Barcelona man. Crosses it in to find Icardi with the header. Straight at the new signing, David De Gea. Over the top, James Rodriguez. Does well to cut inside. Still going James Rodriguez. Play it through. It's Modric who is onside. And he skies it. That was our chance, guys. What a chance that was. Maybe I should have put that one on target. Maybe I should have went to the back post. Went, tried to go into that top corner. But Modric just puts that one wide. Danilo to Bale. Bale's actually going to lose it. Here you go, Inter Milan on the attack. Cross comes in. Palacio, Pepe with some great defending. Inter Milan, what a dangerous attack that was. Here we go on the counter. It's Hamas Rodriguez. Inside to Kovacic, who plays a through. Is Aguero offside? Oh, yes, he is. Aguero, what a chance that was. One on one with the goalkeeper. The linesman calls him offside. Here we go. What a nice passing play here from my team. Here goes Bale. He can get around Vidic. He's got the pace to do so. Bale cut it back. It's Gareth Bale. It's Gareth Bale with the shot. And he has put that one wide. What a chance that was. Probably should have done a bit better there, Gareth Bale. But from that chance, I'm actually going to make a few changes. I'm going to change up the formation. We need a formation change. I'm going to go to the 4-3-3 formation, a formation that has been used in my Leicester City crew mode for you guys that do follow that one. So I'm going to change it up to the 4-3-3. Obviously, we've got the players to work with the 4-3-3. So Ronaldo will be out on the far left. Bay will be out on the far right. And I'm actually going to bring on Tony Cruz for Kovacic for the midfield change. And that is it. I'm actually going to bring on Isco for James Rodriguez also. So they're the two changes that I'm going to be making during the second half. Here goes Hernandez on the ball. Tony Cruz wins it back well. I'm going to slowly do this build up. I'm going to play it wide to Bale. Here goes Bale. Cut it back inside. Gareth Bale. All the time in the world. Gareth Bale with the goal. And in the 70th minute, we lead into Milan. It's Gareth Bale who scores the first goal in this cremate series. What a cut inside from Gareth Bale. Did very well to get around Miranda. And what a finish from Gareth Bale. Into that top corner. It's Inter Milan nil. Real Madrid won. Danilo to Bale. Go on, Bale. Skips around that defender. Cuts it inside. Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale with the shot. And could you imagine if Bale scored two goals in the first game of the series? What a start it has been to Bale. Uh, Ronaldo now at the cross. Aguero's in there. Ball's going to fall out to Tony Cruz. Really one of the fresher players in our team right now. After the 90 minutes, it's going to end. Inter Milan nil. Real Madrid won. Gareth Bale with a fantastic strike. He has won us this game off his own boot. Gareth Bale take a bow. He scored the first goal of the Super League season. He's got the first win of the Super League season. Is this the last time we're going to see Ronaldo in a Real Madrid kit? Will he be sold during this transfer window? We are going to have to wait and find out. I really don't want to uh, get rid of Ronaldo. We all know how good Ronaldo is. Sergio Aguero didn't have the best of games on his debut. But guys, it's going to end Inter Milan nil. Real Madrid won. Bale with the goal. And we pick up our first win in this Super League. Valencia have accepted my trans offer for Jose Gaia. Like I did say, I gave him exactly what they want. £23 million. Pounds. We're going to offer him also exactly what he wants. at so 90000 per week. Four years. 
and I'm going to give him an important first team player. Not a crucial first team player, but an important first team player. There it is, guys. Jose Gaia has accepted the contract. He is the third signing in this Real Madrid career mode. We still have another £48 million in the transfer budget. What do you guys want me to do with that money? Leave it in the comment section down below. Jose Gaia is the third signing in this career mode series. We have received a transfer offer for Tony Cruz, a man who did come on from the substitute in that game. AS Roma, 47 million pounds. And to be honest, Roma have a lot of money to spend. The fact this is, I think, the third player that have come in for a transfer offer. I'm just gonna flat out reject it. I wanna keep, keep Tony Cruz in the squad. Definitely a central midfielder that I do wanna use. It is time to head into the second game of the Super League season. This time, it's against Marseille. Before we head into the game against Valencia, you guys can see the stats for Jose Gaia. Definitely, definitely a player who looks very good in his stats. Few dark greens, few light greens, a lot of dark greens also in the skill attributes. Look at those dark greens. Slide tackling, slide uh, stand tackling, sorry. Three star weak foot, two star skill moves. Doesn't have to be the most skillful player, obviously, because he is a left back just as long as, he's, as he does his job in the team. It is time to face Marseille, the first home game of the Super League season at the Santiago Bernabeu. Real Madrid versus Marseille. Can we make it? Two games, two wins. Let's find out. You guys can see that Jose Gaia will be making his debut for the club. And also Diaby, the former Arsenal man, will be making his debut for Marseille. You guys can see my Real Madrid side for this game. Rafael Varane has come into the starting 11. He'll be starting as a centre-back over Pepe and also Jose Gaia will be making his debut. He'll be starting over Fabio Contrell. This is the Marseille side. Mandanda in goals. Alessandrini out on the wing. Uh, Diara also in the midfield. As you guys did see, Diaby also in that midfield. 4-3-3 formation and that is the Marseille side that we are coming up against for this game. Just on the edge of the area. Here go Marseille. Play the ball through. No, they don't. Sergio Ramos with a great interception. But what a save from David De Gea. That is an incredible save. Look at that, guys. One-on-one -on -one with De Gea. And somehow he pulls off a stop. That is why I signed him. What a save from David De Gea. And just remember, guys, that De Gea has not considered a goal yet. Yes, we might have only played about a game and a quarter of this one. But... Still started very well, David De Gea. Here we go on the counter-attack, straight from that corner. Gareth Bale on the ball. To Gareth Bale, down the wing. Here goes Bale. Cuts it back to Modric. He plays it inside to Aguero. Sergio Aguero with a few touches, and Mandanda has to pull off a save. A good diving save there from Mandanda, but resulting in that, we've got a corner. Here goes Bale with the corner. To find Rafael Varane with the head on yet again. Mandanda with a fantastic save. The French goalkeeper tries to knock it long. We, we win the ball back. It's just really too easy against Marseille. Aguero. Having another chance. A goal. Sergio Aguero saved again from Mandanda. He's pulling off all sorts of saves. So guys, in the 77th minute, Marseille have pushed all their numbers back. You guys can probably see right here, right now, they're holding the ball, pushing all their numbers back. It's so it's impossible for me to win the ball back. Oh, I thought I won it there, but it is a foul to Marseille, and you guys can see that they're holding the ball for the last 10 minutes here. It is going to be quite difficult for us to pick up a goal. So guys, the game has ended. Real Madrid nil. Marseille nil in a pretty boring and stale game. Both teams had chances earlier on in the second half. It was quite boring. You guys can see that Marseille just held the ball, but Mandanda with a fantastic few saves. He was actually saving everything during that first half. And just remember, David De Gea's fantastic save earlier on in the game. Marseille could have easily been 1-0 up, but De Gea pulled off. Probably save of the, save, save of the season already. But the game is going to end 0-0. Nil -nil. I'm going to have to advance in this transfer window. As you guys can see, the way in transfer deadline day, and I'm really not too sure if I shall make another signing. At this moment, I'm not too sure. I don't really think I'm going to make another signing. I'm quite happy with the team. Maybe during January, uh, I might need to look for, say, another player in the midfield 
or especially as a striker because really the only striker that we do have the natural striker is Sergio Aguero. I'm actually going to take back my word a bit guys, I just said that I really wasn't going to go sign a player but I just thought I'm going to go in and try and sign Paul Pogba, you guys know how good Pogba is, his form at the moment at Juventus in the Super League is actually poor which could be something uh, which could actually work in our favour because Juventus might want to get rid of him, not get rid of him but uh, his value might decrease because of the performances that he is putting in. I'm going to attach Casemiro to the transfer offer for Paul Pogba. I'm going to give them Casemiro plus 35 million pounds, which means we do have some more transfer budget throughout the season. Until January, we can, you know, save up. Juventus believe that my transfer offer is unacceptable. They're not interested in Casemiro. Um, so we're going to scrap him from the transfer offer. I'm actually going to offer him 45 million pounds. 3 million pounds left in the transfer budget. It's going to be quite a struggle to sign Pogba, but we're going to try during this transfer deadline day. Juventus, yet again, they have declined my transfer offer. They want 67.5 million pounds for Paul Pogba, which is an insane amount. We don't even have enough transfer budget to go in and put an offer like that. So what I'm going to offer Juventus is huge money for Paul Pogba. I'm going to offer him Isco, plus 40 million pounds for Paul, 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 Paul Pogba. That is a huge, insane amount for Paul Pogba. 42 million pounds plus Isco for Paul Pogba. 42 million pounds plus Isco has worked, guys. Juventus have accepted the trans offer. Now we are doing the player contract for Paul Pogba. We're gonna give him exactly what he wants, four years and a crucial first team player. Will Pogba accept the contract, guys? Let's advance in this transfer deadline day. There's only a couple of hours to go. There it is, guys. Paul Pogba has accepted the contract. And Paul Pogba is the signing during transfer deadline day. He's the fourth signing during this transfer window. Paul Pogba, welcome to Real Madrid. Look at those stats, guys. Look at the stats of Paul Pogba. Light greens and dark greens all over the place. Look at the skill attributes. This guy has insane stats. 86 overall, four-star week four, four-star skill moves, 22-year-old. We all know how good Paul Pogba is. You guys know how much of a fan I am of Paul Pogba and what a signing he is going to be. 42 million pounds plus Isco was a huge offer from for Juventus. Sorry, it was a huge offer for Juventus. They accepted it. Huge money for Paul Pogba. Will he work out? Will he play well in this Real Madrid side? We're going to have to wait and find out. And now transfer deadline day has ended and it is time to concentrate on the Super League season.